प्रॉब्लम नंबर थ्री फ्रॉम सेक्शन ऑफ सॉलिड अ कोन अ बेस डायमीटर इज 60 एक्सिस लेंथ इज 60 एम एम इज कैप्ट ऑन एच पी ऑन इट्स बेस सो दिस इज द फर्स्ट थिंग यू हैव टू ड्रॉ सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल ड्रॉ अ सर्कल एंड एज अ टॉप व्यू एंड ट्राइंगल एज अ फ्रंट व्यू बिकॉज इट्स अ कोन सो दिस इज योर एक्स वाई लाइन मेजर थर्टी एम एम फ्रॉम हियर and draw a circle like this so this is your top view now draw a front view uh, sorry uh, you have to mark a uh, points on the top view so draw horizontal and vertical line from the center so this point is let's say a b c and d now you have to transfer these points on xy line draw front view the height is given to you which is so this point is let's say o height is 60 mm so measure a 60 mm height and draw a triangle so this point is o dash this is a dash b dash d dash and c dash so this is the front view and top view of the cone which is resting on the hp the with the this dimension it is cut by the plane in a such a way that the true shape of the section is an isosceles triangle of the base 40 mm draw different views so the true shape so here the true shape will be there so isosceles triangle that means two equal uh, sides so to find out a uh, is uh, isosceles triangle of base 40 mm that means two sides are equal and one base is a 40 mm so you have to measure a 40 mm over here so if the uh, section or section plane is cutting the front view in any of the direction it is a cut transfer to here by triangle only because it's a cone so uh, this is the trick actually mm, put your roller scale in such a way that one of the dimension accurate dimension is on this horizontal line like this and you have to uh, roll the, uh, your roller scale in such a way that you got a 2 mm upward direction like this this is a 15 so whenever this 13 is touch this circle just stop there this so 15 to 13 that means 2 2 uh, cm and here 15 to 17 is also 2 cm so that's how you got your this vertical line with the side of 40 mm so this height is a 40 mm height so 2 2 cm here and 2 cm here now you have to transfer this point uh, like this so this is your point now this point o so whenever you observe it from the top this is a one corner and this is the second because you can see a dash and b dash so a dash and b and a and d there are two points so one and it is cut you have to uh, intersect with this one of the uh, means line with the generator means sent apex point you have to connect with the apex point this section line at the end you have to make it thick remove the above material so you have to draw s s dash like this now apex point is o so your point is here and connect them so this is one and uh, this o point is a second point 2 dash and this point is 3 dash again so join them like this and this there is another method also but this is a shortest way to uh, draw it 
दिस इज फर्स्ट पॉइंट बिकॉज ए डैस एंड ए एंड डी सो ए एंड डी लाइन इज इंटरसेक्टिंग ऑन दिस काउ विच इज वन दिस पॉइंट इज टू यू कैन सी दिस टू डैस इज ओवर हियर एंड दिस पॉइंट इज अ थर्ड पॉइंट नाउ इट्स टाइम टू ड्रॉ अ ट्रू शेप विच इज आइसोस्केलस ट्राइंगल यू हैव टू ट्रांसफर दिस ओवर हियर so this point is x1 and this is y1 which is parallel to your section line now draw perpendicular lines from your sectional point now measure the distance of 1 2 and 3 with respect to xy line and transfer that point to this x1 y1 so let's find out point number 1 so this is your point number 1 put pointer on x1 y1 line so this point is point number 1 same way point number 3 from xy line like this put pointer on x1 y1 line and this point is your point number 3 just write out this is the one this is a 3 and measure a distance of point number 2 like this put your point on x y line so this point is point number 3 join them if you measure it this two lines are equal so this is the isosceles triangle and this distance is also 40 mm so this is how you have just draw a section of solid and one more thing is remaining which is section line so this is the hatching line so sectional top view front view and true shape which is isosceles triangle So this is the problem number three from uh, section of solid.